Hello all, welcome again. This is a continuation of shared memory in VxWorks session. And today our topic is shared semaphores. One among, other, among the three shared memory objects. So let's look into it. Please subscribe to our channel if you did not subscribe by clicking subscribe button. Like local semaphores, uh, shared semaphores provide synchronization by means of atomic updates of semaphore state information. Shared semaphores can be given and taken by the tasks executing on CPU with the access to the shared memory. They can be used for either synchronization of tasks running on the different CPUs or mutual exclusion for shared resources. To use a shared semaphore, a task creates the semaphore and advertises its ID. Adding it to the name database can do this. A task on any CPU in the system can use the semaphore by the first getting the semaphore ID. For example, from the name database, when it has the ID, it can then take or give the semaphore. In the case of employing shared semaphores for mutual exclusion, typically there is a system resource that is shared between tasks on different CPUs and the semaphore is used to prevent concurrent access. Anytime a task requires exclusive access to the resource, it takes the semaphore. When the task is finished with the, with the resource, it gives the semaphore. For example, there are two tasks, T1 on CPU0 and T2 on CPU1. The task T1 creates the semaphore and um, advertises the semaphore's ID by adding it to the database and assigning the name MyMutexSem. Task T2 looks up the name MyMutexSem in the database to get the semaphore's ID. Whenever a task wants to access the resource, it first takes the semaphore by using the semaphore ID. When a task is done using the resource, it gives the semaphore. In the case of employing shared semaphore for synchronization, assume a task on one CPU must notify a task on another CPU that some event has occurred. The task being synchronized pending on the semaphore waiting for the event to occur. When the event occurs, the task doing the synchronization gives the semaphore. For example, there are two tasks, T1 on CPU0 and T2 on CPU1. Both T1 and T2 are monitoring robotic arms. The robotic arm that is controlled by T1 is passing a physical object to the robotic arm controlled by T2. Task T2 moves the arm into position but must then wait until T1 indicates that it is ready for T2 to take that object. Task T1 creates the shared semaphore and advertises the semaphore's ID by adding it to the database and assigning the name OBJ ReadySem. Task T2 looks up the name OBJ ReadySem in the database to get the semaphore's ID. It then takes the semaphore by using the object is ready for T2. When T1 is ready to transfer control of the object to T2, it gives the semaphore readying T2 on CPU1. There are two types of shared semaphores, binary and counting. Shared semaphores have their own create routines and return SMID. Let's quickly look into a shared semaphore create routines. So this <coughs> are the two routines sem b sm create means uh, create a shared b indicates binary semaphore sem c c indicates counting semaphore okay so the use of shared and local semaphores differs in several ways the shared semaphore queuing order specified when the semaphore is created must be FIFO that is first in first out so <clears throat> and we'll talk about this later by giving a uh, I'll explain you through a figure a little figure and let's look into the next 
stuff like shared semaphores cannot be given from interrupt level shared semaphores cannot be deleted attempts to delete a shared semaphore return error and set error number 2 s underscore sm obj lib no object destroy okay so let's get back to the first point so look at this figure okay the figure shows two tasks executing on different cpus both trying to take the same semaphore task 1 executes first and is put at the front of the queue because the semaphore is unavailable that is empty here uh, you can see like i have given it as an empty this is semaphore state task t1 executes first and is put at the front of the queue because the semaphore is unavailable task 2 executing uh, task 2 executing on a different cpu tries to take the semaphore after task 1's attempt is put on the queue behind task 1 that means the shared semaphore queuing order specified when the semaphore is created must be in a first in first out okay let's see like um, <clears throat> use sem info to get the shared task um shared task control block of tasks pended on a shared semaphore use sem show if include underscore sem show is included in the project facility vxworks view to display the status of the shared semaphore and a list of pended tasks okay see the following example displays detailed information on the shared semaphore my sm semaphore id as indicated by the second argument 0 equals to summary and 1 equals to detail see when i put sem show my sm semaphore id comma 1 value equals to 0 that means summary equal to 0x 0 the output is sent to the standard output device and looks like the following see we can see semaphore id some value semaphore type shared binary type task queuing for first in first out fifo pended task two tasks are pended and stat, uh, state of the semaphore is empty so we'll get a tid cpu number and shared tcb that is shared task control block address so tid is was been given and cpu number cpu 1 or cpu 0 <coughs> will be displayed since it is zero value equals to the zero it will show the summary if it is one then it gets into the details let's get in with a small example the following code example uh, depicts two tasks executing on different cpus and using shared semaphore the routine sem task 1 creates the shared semaphore okay here are the includes sem task 1 creates the shared semaphore initializing the state to full it adds the semaphore to name database to enable the task on the other cpu to access it takes the semaphore does some processing and gives the semaphore the routine sem task 2 gets the semaphore id from the task from the database takes the semaphore does some processing and gives the semaphore this is how shared semaphore works see i am coming back so i have hash defined sem name my sm semaphore and sem task 1 dot c i have all the include sem lib sem sm lib uh, sm name lib stdio.h and task lib dot h and the sem example dot small h it's not capital h small so h anyways in case sensitivity you need to check so this is how we create it create a shared semaphore grab shared semaphore and hold it for a while and then normally do something useful here five clock rate five task delay according to the system clock rate 5 into system clock rate get okay then printf 
task one is releasing the shared semaphore and uh, just do sem gif and return ok this is for sem task one let's get into sem task two so all the includes are same this is executed on cpu2 and sem task two <coughs> here we have one thing called int obj type we included find object in the name database using sm name find okay object type wait for our double equals to error okay then take the shared semaphore so printf sem task 2 is now going to take the shared semaphore then release uh, normally do something useful that is printf task 2 got the semaphore um, shared semaphore then release the shared semaphore <coughs> sem give sem smit and printf that has released the shared semaphore and written ok i hope this example was useful we'll have a look at it again so task 1 create shared semaphore grab shared semaphore and hold it for a while and uh, normally do something then release semaphore so same is the case with sem2 but we have one object type based upon the object type find the object in the name database obj type okay and then take the shared uh, semaphore then normally do something useful whatever you want to do and release the shared semaphore this is how the shared semaphore works i hope this example is um, useful for you to understand the shared semaphore in the context we finished with id task task synchronization inter task communication basic io interrupts and timers posix signals and then next we are into shared semaphore this is the second session initially we had a basic session now we just finished with the shared semaphore session and then we will move on to the shared message queue that would be another uh, session after that we will have a shared partition okay we'll discuss about the shared memory allocator both user and um, <coughs> shared memory system partition over that after that we will jump into the implementation of all this timing multitasking semaphores message queues round robin etc all these things into the programmatically i hope you understood this and uh, please kindly subscribe by clicking the subscribe button share it and click for a bell icon for your personal notifications for new this thing new videos and notifications thank you thank you for your time